We've covered a lot of land over the years on Creek to Coast, from the rolling red dunes of the Simpson Desert to the long sandy stretches of Fraser Island and even the rugged challenge of the Telegraph Track. That is a lot of different terrain to handle and there's one tool in our arsenal that can handle it all. They're kind of the unsung hero of our adventures, but that's all about to change today. We're giving due praise to the real MVPs. Yep, these guys. The Cooper tyres are some of the most valuable players, getting us from A to B on all of our four-wheel drives. Andrew Collings from Coopers has met me at Warren Beach four-wheel drive entrance on Bribey Island today. He's showing me the difference between an AT3 tyre on our car and Cooper's new STT Pro that he's running on his Jeep. So tell me about these beasts, Andrew. Well, this is the new Cooper STT Pro. It's a mud terrain tyre, it's an 80-20 tyre. Um, so it is designed for more off-road use. This tyre here is not ideal for the sand, um, but you know, we'll be able to show you today we can still have fun uh, by adjusting our tyre pressures. The tyre on your car is the Cooper AT3. That's a 70% on-road tyre, 30% off-road tyre. So it's designed for a lot of highway. Um, it's also a great sand tyre because it's not as aggressive as this tyre. A basic rule for driving through beach cut-ins is to increase your footprint essentially increasing the amount of rubber in contact with the sand. So that means letting out some air. So Andrew, I let the tyres down to 18 psi and well, it was pretty smooth sailing for me. How'd you go? Yeah, you did a great job, Liz. You got right through there. It was pretty easy. I'm uh, running road pressures, so um, it was a little bit harder, showing people what not to do. Yep, let's show them. Gosh, we've picked a beautiful day. Bribey Island is so easy to get to for some beach driving. The inland track is further up from here and a good challenge for keen four-wheel drivers. Or you can stop off for a picnic, a swim or some beach fishing. So it's times like these when you can really see why preparation is key. Andrew, what should we do now? Wow, would you look at that? We finally got by. <laughs> well, now we've got to drop the tyre pressures and increase our footprint, get more of that rubber on the sand, and then we'll be able to drive right out of here. You can see really how these gaps have just filled up with sand. Which basically means there's no traction, there's no rubber, you know, hitting that sand, um, and the tyre's ability to clean the sand isn't there anymore. So you think dropping the pressure will be enough to get this out? Yeah, definitely, we'll All get right. out. The STT Pros really would be perfect for the mud, but they still managed to do the job here and now can join our 83s for an easy run back down the beach. So Andrew, we really did pick the perfect day to be out here. Well, isn't it a great day to be out here? Beats uh, being in an office uh, for me. This is my office. <laughs> If you're planning to take the 4B onto the sand at Bribey Island, remember you'll need a permit and don't forget to check the tides before venturing out. To get yourself sorted with a set of Cooper tyres, jump online for stockists and browse the range to see what suits your own four-wheel drive adventures. So all that's left to do now is reinflate the tyres and get a nice block for the drive home. 